You've probably seen them soaring over Mountain Bachelor, but paragliding, as scary as it seems, is not just for the daredevils. Mackenzie Wilson takes us up in the air for a first look. You know when your heart is telling you, yes, go for it, but your head is like, no, do not do that. That is a really bad idea. Well, that's how I felt right about now. <laughs> Nobody forced me to go paragliding. <laughs> but I wish someone had like a really long time ago. Oh, there we are, we're already a couple hundred feet above okay. where we took off. If you're like me, you're probably thinking, that looks really cool, but I would never do it because I hate heights. But my pilot, who's been doing this for 23 years, he hates them just as much as you do. If I have to climb a two-story ladder to clean the gutters on my house, I'm petrified. I hold on to the ladder with, with white knuckles. But flying a paraglider, I trust the glider, I trust the harness, I've got, oh, in excess of 2,500 flights now in the last 20 plus years. Don't get me wrong, it was scary. But this guy summed it up perfectly. It was thrilling and completely relaxing at the same time. I actually felt pretty relaxed too, until Steve asked me if I wanted to be the pilot. And then let's turn left. Really earning that little pilot card. There's a saying that paraglider pilots are birds trapped in human body. We become amateur meteorologists in order to fly paragliders. We watch the weather obsessively, and when it looks right, then we go out and fly. But we never try to fly if the weather doesn't look right. And even though most of the pilots do tend to be men, women can soar just as high. It's not a, a sport of brawn, it's one of brains and um, um, it's relatively easy to learn how to fly. Um, it takes time to learn or teach yourself about weather and strategy and um, but yes we can be as good as the men in this sport. I was lucky enough to fly from the Pine Mountain Observatory and Pine Ridge near Terrebonne and both were awesome. The pine is definitely my favorite. Uh, it's close to home and it's some of the best air I think in the world. You know, I've been to, I've flown on three continents and this is by far the most fun, reliable place to fly and we're so lucky to have it here in Central Oregon. So don't let your fears keep you on the ground. A view like this will make those nervous knots in your stomach just float away.